Hey Stampers, Gainer again, and you're not going to believe what's happened. I've come back with the second video for the vintage uh, embellishment box, and I thought I'd press record, and I went through everything and decorated my whole box, and I hadn't pressed record at all. So this is the finished product. <laughs> I know. Oh, I'm terrible. I haven't put any legs on yet, um, but what I did do, I... I will get my pen and book out with you now and give you all the measurements of every piece you will need. I liked the chipboard so much of the new fresh stuff that I covered all the sides first, as you can see, with the craft card paper. I liked it because you can still see a tiny little border all the way around and I loved I didn't want to have black out. We always go for black, um, but uh, you're going to need four pieces that size I'll write them down with you now actually I've even popped in this beautiful little card here and I've got some ephemera cards in there I'm not gonna keep the ephemera card in there and like this one I'm just showing you that there's extra spaces to add embellishments so my little bar is stabilized I wish I'd t done that and turned it on its side now because it restricts your hands going in but it also stops anything that's too big from flopping forward as well so but I love it. I absolutely adore it. And I'm going to get my book and pen with you now. That's if you want to make this size box. So there's my vintage uh, embellishment box. So there are the measurements there. And then for the DSP. DSP. You are obviously going to need two. One for the inside, one for the outside two at uh, because this is seven and a half by six and a half you want seven and three eighths by six and three eighths and you know it's perfect to go on the inside there's hardly anything showing on the inside which i like because you're going on top of card you're going to need two that size at seven and three eighths by three and three eighths. Then you're gonna also need two that side for this five inch flap. So there'll be two at seven and three eighths by four and seven eighths. And then you're gonna need two again for this size. And you're gonna need them at seven and three eighths by and that's four inches so it's three and seven eighths you may have to take a little slither off the inside one but the outside panel no and then you're going to need four of those and there's six and three eighths by three and three eighths then you're going to need one for the bottom inside that is seven and three eighths by three and three eighths may have to take a slither off that as well and also i put a one inch strip on the top and you're going to want one at seven and three eighths by seven eighths of an inch so there are your dsp measurements so if you want to go and grab them and you can put each you can put these sections together before you totally put all your box together if you want to but mind you no you can't because if your your hinges and your they're the hinges that's the what i was meant to say you've got that's the hinge work and you, you score them all on the short side at three quarters of an inch and then dsp is all that on there I had leftover chipboard pieces, stickers, little corners. I put them on there, front and at the back. Added a little strip and a board and a little sticker here and here. And I've added some on the sides. Tried to keep it pretty even. I've also added uh, a cardboard cut apart here and some more stickers. And a few more on here and here. And like I say, because I had a few of those ephemera cards, let me just grab a load of embellishments now. So. So I've got little tiny cardboard pieces. Look, I mean, that's no good to anyone, is it now? So I've got my dewdrops, my epoxy hearts. I've 
I've got rhinestones and they're all going to fit in here lovely, absolutely gorgeously. I've got so much, it's unreal. So even if I wanted now with my embellishments, the larger ones at the back, I could even perhaps fit this little box in there to keep it nice and tidy as well. So, yeah, I can look brilliant. Love it, love it, love it. So I'm going to put my larger ones at the back, my little ones at the front, so I can keep an eye on those. More embellishments from other people. My gorgeous embellishments in there. It will hold loads and if you don't want to use it as an embellishment box then it's going to hold about 30 to maybe 25 30 cards but look you can get loads in there and i can perhaps say you know those little ones i just tucked away i can perhaps take them out of, take the ephemera cards out of here really cut them and then put little things like this in the tops where i know i've only got a few that are out of packets so let me have a look at that other packet. Where did I put them? I just had it now. <laughs> I will come across them again in a second. I've got that loose packet. I've just put it in there. <laughs> I've lost it now. Yeah, I wish I'd have turned that that way so it was downwards. No, that's not it. Let me find them. Why if I just put those little... There. My little loose gems. Ones that aren't in packets. I love all this. And just have them all in one place now instead of sprawled all over my desk in, in separate departments. Oh. My wooden elements in there. Love it. Loads of space. So, like these now can go in here, loose pa uh, packets. They can go sliding in there. Let me just chop that down. So I can keep all my little loose packets together in these top bits. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And I've still got more. I have got cupboards full of embellishments. All stays together with those beautiful magnets. So let's get rid of those ephemera cards. And the ones from the back out here because I can slide stuff in there as well maybe I can put those loose packets in there because this is upside down see I'm gonna put the loose one in the very back there gorgeous little embellishment box so I can see them poking out and still know where they're for loads of space let me grab some more embellishments I've got my assorted keys. I can keep all these little bits and trinkets in my gorgeous box. So it looks so organised. I just wish I could be able to bend that back. I took it so it was level instead of a little side. Lift it up slightly so you can bend this backwards. But I love that. I think that's beautiful. Loads of space in there. Let's see what else I've got. <clears throat> so I've got things like uh, stickers and frames and tags. This is Botanical Garden and they are Cartabellas. They will go in there at the back. I just love it. I've got so many embellishments. It's unreal. And if you just wanted it to free up some space from elsewhere, this box looks really pretty sitting on somebody's desk. I just love it. Absolutely love it. What else? Oh, there are my punches. <laughs> Let's just have a look what I've got up here. Tons of embellishments. Let's 
of this packet. Look at that. If I chop just the top of that packet off, that's all you've got to do is just take a pair of scissors and away to go. It's got a cute little button attached there. And I've got loads and loads and loads of space for embellishments. I just love it. So, but there you go. Let me show you those measurements again. So this is for your vintage fold flat. That is the chipboard you will need. That is six and a half there. So there's your chipboard pieces. These are your hinges. And then these are what you will need for your DSP. So you can pause, go and get all your stuff. Make the box for yourself. I love it. I absolutely adore it. I've just found a little star. Stick that on there. It was stuck the other way. Never mind. But there we go. I'm sorry about not uh, filming it all. Well, I thought I had. I literally thought I had. <laughs> I literally had to swap a battery as well because I thought I was recording. And it still wears down. Mine does. And look at all those embellishments you can get in there. I can get way more than that in there now. I'll probably get another 20 packets in there. Easy peasy. But if you've got taller packets, just cut them down to size. But there we go. There is my gorgeous Beach Life sun-kissed embellishment box. And I'm going to literally pop that just there where my embellishments used to sit. I love it. Thank you for watching, though. And I do apologise uh, once again. Um, I could also make another one. I might make something now, a container, so, you know, like, like a round box for all the stamping up embellishments, like a little gorgeous little boat sized tray, maybe, because I've got other sequins, so they all slot in, but I want to make it out of some sort of chipboard so it can make sure it lasts because I love those little cardboard things but they do tend to get a bit squishy and um, you know they're not the best of cardboard is not the best of your friend well it is it is and it isn't if you know what I mean but I just found more space hey for my scissors my score tool my rubbers. I've got plenty of desk space now. I've just omitted those few um, embellishment boxes out the way and put them all in that big one. I can now, I've got, I've freed up so much space, it's unreal. Finding little bits everywhere though. <laughs> yeah, like these little things that were gifted to me, they can go in my little embellishment box. There we go. But yeah free up some space I might come back and I might say because we've all got these lovely little trinkets from stamping up we don't have to retire them we can just use them I've got loads of assortments you know we all got things like embellishment brad boxes I've got gems and stuff like that so I'm trying to make something nice and round oh let me fill up while I've just remembered my other little embellishments that's it it's very good. I've got no nails they've all snapped oh look I've got loads more let's see if I can just mix them up I've got a little scoop have I these were gifted to me off the gorgeous cinders. Oh, I still haven't heard off yet. I'm getting worried. So yeah, I want to make something for these embellishments to go into. So I can free up more space. I don't mind leaving a little tub like this on the side saves having to dig out all these tubs because I've stacked them so high on top of each other that it's quite hard to uh... that one just sits on my desk 
got a little space for that one. But I mean, we've all got things like this. What have I got in this one? Purple gems. Oh, buttons. And then I've got little old multicolored gems. Uh, more of those glass ones. And then the clear glass ones. I've got loads of those. Then I've got my corners for my albums and stuff. My antique ones. And all oh, the clear ones again. But yeah, I mean, look, like, I have to stack everything. And it's a bit of a pain in the bum just to grab everything out. And I can, if I had something that was on the side so I could see what I'd got, I can just lift out the container I wanted. So. Maybe I'll do an assortment size. Maybe I'll do one that size for those and one a small one for these. Because you can see what they are at a glance. You know, I will know that's Christmas. There then are trinkets and my little baubles, little pom poms. So yeah, I'm going to make something to house these. Maybe in a bit of chipboard and maybe for those as well. I've just got lots of little tiny things sprawl. I mean, I've got little bits of this sprawled all over the place. Little golden hearts in there. And I'd love to be able to just see them at a glance instead of having stacking up so high. And then I have to, you know, there's nothing worse than going, oh, where's all this? Blah, blah, blah. Trying to put it all back. It's a bit of a pain in the bum. So maybe I'll do uh, another, another one for slightly smaller embellishments love it but yeah if you could see my people keep asking me for a craft room tour update well there's no update as yet i haven't changed anything in the craft room it's just a mess at the minute it's like omg mr boyce and i are contemplating an extension downstairs on the back of the house so i can go back downstairs because i do more crafting downstairs than i do up See more sequin, but little tubs everywhere. So I need a, a little tray now for my embellishments to go into. So yes, watch this space, and I would love a thumbs up and a share. I know I haven't shown you much today, but um, you know it will be just a short little video. I might even just air it straight after the vintage box and not come back the next day. But oh, I've just think now. Oh, look at that. I just moved. Let's see if I can get. I can as well. I've got a, a cosmetic tray. I don't know if I can lift it out to show you. Yes, I can. Oh, right. Now this sits on my desk. Look at that. It's fitting there, perfect. Fitting there, perfect. I wonder if I get them in there. I would have took that out. Look at that, my shimmer paint. Uh, I've got a spare blade. Don't know what that is in there. Oh, it's the lid off some glue. Yeah, so I've got little presents that people have passed on to me. This is where I keep all my little scraps of white stamping up paper. This is just a cosmetic tray. Literally, it's got little handles on the side. And I bought the IKEA desk div dividers, they're called. And this is where I sit. So there's all my little spare bits, my scissors, my pencils, my IKEA pencils as well. <laughs> Every time I go up, I grab a couple. <laughs> or I forget to put them back. And then I've got my score too, my normal rubber. I won't keep them in there, but I'll keep, perhaps I'll keep them in there. But yeah, look, it fits my perfect little tubs perfectly now. I've got my pencil sharpener. Oh, look at these beautiful things I've just found now. Oh, they're pretty, aren't they? I've just found them. I think it's I've also gone missing is... Uh, my little stamping, my little stamping, uh, my little mini calculator. Calculator? No. Stapler. <laughs> I 
So this is the tray I keep all my little bits of white in, my scissors. Now I can fit me embellishments in there. And these are all my Winkle Stellas, craft knives, tall pencils. You know, so I've got them at hand. I've got another little white rubber in there. Oh, they were off Sandra. Um, so yeah, I've just found use for now for my little trinkets. Perhaps I won't keep them in there, but I will keep that in there. I don't know, it just stops things from falling over. But these are from Home and Bargain. Not Home and Bargain. B&M. Literally costs me, I think, like three ninety nine each. And they're perfect because I like I say the IKEA desk. They've got shelves that people use on in kitchen supplies, and uh, one of them is attached to the back of my desk. So these fit in them slots beautifully. So yes, I do have now. I've just sussed it for my. Uh, let's move that out there. Yeah, perfect. My little gems fit in the front because I've got another little container here with which has got loose gems in that I use on a daily basis. So instead of pulling out a big huge packet, I've got this little tub. I keep all my little rhinestones in and my little pegs in case they ever have to clamp things up, up and that fits in that space beautifully as well oh look at that the front's just come off my peg sticky front mind you the radiator sits along there so it's probably come loose because of the radiator and the heat yeah, but that's where I keep those. A little rubber sits on there as well. Oops, there goes my little, my desk is my castle. I think I'll get my washi up there now. I've got plenty of space now on my desk. Oh, my desk is really freed up with loads of space. Love it. Perhaps I'll leave those little ice crystals on there. But aren't they beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous little leaves. I can't remember who sent me them. I've got a little thing here with trinkets in. So, yes, these are odds and sods, I call them. Two, I've got two black rhinestones left. Oh, well, I was saying I've got two. I won't have any in a minute. Yeah, so any little odds and sods like that, I like to keep in that little tub. So I've got a dusty, dusky, dusty desk. <laughs> I keep those little ice crystals in my miscellaneous tub. But my desk is absolutely stinking at the minute. So, but there we go. Anyway, I just wanted to share. I'm sorry I was uh, a bit lax clumsy not checking that I'd press the record button but I just wanted to come on and give you something extra look at me I keep looking over there thinking I've got I'm, I'm only doing the camera and the hand things but I'm not I keep forgetting my camera's up there so let's see if I can put this straight whoa there we go nice and neat again so come back tomorrow and we'll have uh, another project till then bye